Welcome back to Whole Future Guides. Sitting here chowing down on some green leaf lettuce, organic grown, locally grown that I got at the farmer's market yesterday in Santa Monica. You should check out my picture on Instagram of it, stocked up on, on uh, fresh dates, straight from the Seven Hot Dates farm. Really, really good stuff. The season's ending and kind of had to snag them, you know, before, while I still had them. But uh, I want to make a video response today to a comment I got on uh, one of Brianna Jackfruitson's videos about greens being necessary. And somebody said to me, nobody wants veggies, don't lie. And so I thought this was pretty hilarious because we've been there too, you know? And it's like, oh, vegetables are just like a collective hallucination. Everybody knows that they're good for you. Nobody actually likes them. People just pretend, oh, I love kale, you know, blah, blah, blah. When really they don't like it. And, and so let's take a look at, I eat pears here. Looks like a pretty healthy dude. I don't mean to single you out, but let's see, do you have videos? I eat pears. The earth is round, derp. Okay. So not too much in the videos department. But um, anyway, I just want to say like, I've been there too. Thinking that you know, video uh, vegetables like weren't that good. And I'll tell you, most people have to beat the living hell out of their vegetables. Get them in their face. They got to like, you know, Drown them in salt or oil or cover them in barbecue sauce or who knows what other concoctions to like just mute out the taste, right? So they just smother them in grease and stuff like that. Um, if you're doing any kind of diet where you're seasoning your food, you're adding salt, you know, the vegetables aren't going to taste good at all, you know? But let me tell you something. You clean things out. You uh, eat clean. Fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, minimize the seasonings, minimize the salt. Personally, I don't do any of that. Right now, I eat 100% raw vegan diet, fruits and green leafy vegetables like this. And let me tell you, we've been doing that for a while and your palate's cleanse. I mean, this is just like, this is like eating a bag of Fritos for me. I mean, seriously, I'm going to sit here and munch this down, you know. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Don't need to put nothing on it, you know. Um... But, you know, I feel you, dude. I feel you, bro. You know? Nobody really like most... 99.9% .9 of people don't really like vegetables. A lot of people wear a kale t-shirt. Pretend they like kale. And I agree. Nobody actually freaking likes kale. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody freaking really likes kale. Just because Joel Furman assigned it a 1,000 on a scale of 0 to 1,000 for nutrient density. Doesn't mean that you actually like it. You just know that it's healthy. Man, lettuce. Lettuce is bomb.com, bro. Green leaf? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, pimp. I apologize to all those people who don't like to watch me eating. But, you know. Gotta stick up for the vegetables, man. Don't want nobody knocking on no vegetables. I know that, like, some people who eat a fruit-based diet say, no, I don't even eat, no, you know, vegetables anymore. It's through all fruit. You know, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It works for you, you know. It's cool. It's cool. Now a day goes by, I don't want something green leafy. Now sometimes my vegetables would be like cucumbers and celery and peppers. And I don't know cucumbers and peppers aren't really vegetables, they're still fruits. But you know. Green leafy things. It's good. You know? And you do this long enough, man, your taste buds change. And you crave this kind of stuff and you can eat lettuce plain. If you're really hungry, lettuce like this with nothing on it tastes amazing. That's my message. To all y'all people who don't have faith that people don't actually like vegetables. Some people like vegetables. I didn't like vegetables for probably like 30 years. No, I love vegetables. Alright, that's my piece. Late.